بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين The Science of Moon Sighting Every year at Ramadan time, we hear about the moon being sighted at different times, at different places, and this creates some confusion in Muslim communities all over the world. Before we can navigate this confusion and learn what we should do where we live, we need to understand some science of moon sighting. We need to understand what it means for the moon to be sighted. In order to understand that, we need to understand the phases of the moon. The moon begins just before the beginning of the month as an invisible moon, a moon that cannot be seen because the side that reflects the light of the sun, remember that the moon is a dark object. It does not emit light of its own, but the light that, that we see of the moon is merely the light that is being reflected from the sun. So when, when we have the new moon, the new moon is when the side of the moon that is facing the sun is turned away from the observer who, is, who would observe the moon from earth. So when the moon is a new moon, it's invisible, it cannot be seen. As the month begins, the tiniest sliver of the side of the moon that reflects the light of the sun can be seen and the moon appears as a crescent. The month continues and we see more of the side of the moon that reflects the light of the sun and it appears as a half moon. It then grows into a gibbous and then it grows into a full moon. When we see the entire side of the moon that reflects the light of the sun. The moon then wanes, turning into a gibbous and then a half moon and then a crescent before it disappears altogether. And then we have the beginning of the next month of the lunar calendar. So these are the phases of the moon. The question that we will attempt to, un to answer is how do the phases change? Why does the moon appear different at different times of the month? And we'll begin by analyzing the full moon, which is perhaps one of the easier phases of the moon to understand. The moon appears full when the entire side of the moon that reflects the light of the sun is visible to an observer who ob looks at the moon from Earth. So if we look at the Earth, the moon and the sun from above, this is a bird's eye view. In this diagram, the side of the Earth that faces the sun, it has day. And the side of the Earth that faces away from the sun has night. So if we imagine an observer in the middle of the night, you looking up at the moon, you will see a full moon. Now you might imagine from this diagram that you won't see the full moon because the earth is in between the sun and the moon and it should block the light of the sun. However, if we look at this diagram from the side, from another perspective, from a side perspective, we'll see that the earth, the sun and the moon are not in a straight line. They're in the same plane, but they're not in the same line. So this is the side of the earth that has day. It's the side of the earth that's facing the sun. This is the side of the earth that has night. And this is you, the observer, looking up at the moon in the middle of the night. If you look up at the moon, in the middle of the night at this time, you will see the full side of the moon that receives the light of the sun and the moon at this time will appear to be a full moon like this. And so when the sun, the earth and the moon are aligned in this fashion, in a straight plane, they're in, a, they're in the same plane, then the moon will appear to be a full moon. Let's now examine when the moon appears to be a half moon. This will happen, this will happen when 
an observer standing on Earth looking at the moon only sees half of the side of the moon that reflects the light of the sun. Recall that always half of the moon will reflect the light of the sun. When you see a half moon, in other words, a quarter of the moon, basically what you're seeing here, a quarter of the moon, because you always only see one side of the moon, which is half of the moon. So here you're seeing a quarter of the moon. When you see this, you're only seeing half of the side that reflects the light of the sun. Let's try and understand the earth, sun, moon configuration that leads to the moon looking like this. So, um, so if you are an observer standing at sunset, just after sunset, just as the night has entered, and you're looking up at the moon, then you will see a half moon. Let's try and understand this from a different perspective. Let's not come from the side as we did in the last example, but let's come from another direction. In this diagram, the sun is behind the earth and the moon. And the side of the earth that you can see in this diagram is the side that has night. And the side of the moon that you can see in this diagram is the side that is not reflecting the light of the sun. So if you are an observer here just after sunset, you're not in the middle of the night, just after sunset, and you're looking up at the moon, then you will see half of the moon that, that uh, half of the moon that you see in this, in this diagram, in other words, you'll see half of the dark side of the moon. And the other side of the moon, which is light, which you don't see here, you'll also see that. And so the moon will appear to be a half moon. So if you use your imagination and you think uh, hard, then you'll be able to see that when the moon is configured halfway in between what we just saw, the half moon, and the, and, and the full moon, then it will appear to be a gibbous. It will be somewhere in between. And so now I hope that we have some understanding of why the moon appears to look different at different times of the month. So now that we have this understanding, we're going to turn back and examine the new moon. What is the new moon? The new moon is actually the opposite of the full moon. When, when there is the new moon, then the earth, the sun and the moon are in a straight line. But the moon here is between the sun and the earth. So the side of the moon that is being illuminated by the sun is facing away from, from the earth. If you are standing just after sunset and you look up to, to see the moon, the moon will be invisible. The moon will be invisible. Just as when, when the moon is on the other side of the earth, but still in, a, in the same plane, it will appear to be full. So when the moon is on this side of the earth, it appears full. When, it, when it's on that side of the earth, it appears invisible. When do we see the crescent that marks the beginning of the month? We see this crescent when the moon moves ever so slightly and just the slightest amount of the side of the moon that faces the sun is visible to the observer from underneath. Here in this diagram, you'll see the slightest amount from underneath of the moon that faces the sun, the sliver of the moon, and that is the crescent moon that marks the beginning of the month. So the new moon is when it's invisible and it moves slightly and it becomes a crescent and this marks the beginning of the month. And the new moon at the beginning of the month will look something like this. Now, if we return to our diagram, you will note that, that the moon is, is in between the sun and the earth. So when the moon is just visible, it will be seen just where the sun set. 
it will be seen in the direction where the sun was. And where was the sun? The sun was in the west. And so for this reason, we can understand the rule that the new moon of the month will always be sighted on the western horizon. It will be sighted in the area where the sun set. And so here we see the new moon in the direction where the sun set. Let's look at our diagram again and see if we can infer another rule from this diagram. So the moon here is just visible. As the earth turns and you go further into the night, the moon will disappear because the angle from which you now observe the moon has changed. And the, and the slightest sliver of the side of the moon that faced the sun now is no longer going to be visible. And so from this, we infer another rule that the new moon will set shortly after it becomes visible. So you normally only have a short amount of time to see the new moon after the sun has set. This brings us to the end of our lesson on the science of moon sighting. Wasallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Wallahu subhanahu wa ta'ala alam wa huwa hasbuna wa ni'mal wakil.